Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Detail Smart Brush tool in Photoshop Elements 12, and more important, actually, how to extend the actual Smart Brush effect. Now, I'm just going to go over to the Smart Brush, and there's the actual Smart Brush. Will be a nice feature for Photoshop itself as well, but it's got a selection of options here. You've got presets, you've got photographic, color effects, black and white, artistic, etc. Not particularly immediately obvious what they are when they're like that but you actually go small list that's much easier to actually see because frankly sometimes some of the pictures it's very hard to tell oil pastel from soft flat color so I'm just going to go various things clouds so you can actually apply the effect so I'm just going to quickly apply the effect now obviously it's not much <laughs> use putting clouds over this person's face but I'm just gonna it's a foggy day maybe so I'm just gonna apply the brush stroke and of course at any point I can change I can go for flowery see the flowers there dark sky shadows snowfall and so on and so on and you can also do various things like reverse effects which I'm just going to select nighttime which gives a shadow effect and of course you can change the brush there's a whole selection of brushes you can Go for different brushes, ones you can import as well, and also you can change the size, etc. Now you can also extend these effects. You don't actually you can use filters, and I'm just going to go to the filters. I'm just going to apply the filter. Now it's not the quickest because the filter obviously has to take some time to process. Also, you can apply this filter. And sometimes some appear to be more useful than others, depending on the actual applied smart brush. So you can actually see the smart brush actually has got extended with a sketch effect as well. Now, I mean, that's that's one of the things about this brush. So it's, it's, it can be extended in numerous ways. So you can actually apply all these different filters as a brush stroke, which you can, of course, remove as well. So I'm just going to apply a noise, a noise effect. And again, sometimes actually more appears depending on the actual selection applied here. added noise so right next thing I'm going to do is also show you that layer effects can also be applied so layer style layer st style settings and you can also add say drop shadow distance as well as bevel etc as well as stroke so you can actually have an edge around the thing obviously since it's a grain you can actually see it's all of that grain has actually got edges now it looks like so click OK and as the brush, you can actually apply the brush, add more of the brush. You can also remove the brush from the original image so it breaks all that apart. You can actually so reveal some of the underlying image at that point. Okay, anyway, that's a, just a quick run through of some of the options and ways of extending the Photoshop Elements 12 Detail Smart Brush Tool. Hope you found this tutorial of interest and you'll subscribe to Graphic Extra's channel, always adding new tutorials every couple of days. Thank you much.